Here in the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, I want to take a quick look at saving views from scratch. So if I go to the posted sales invoices, this is currently a list of all the posted sales invoices, but it could be that it would be more useful to me if I filter to just the documents that had a remaining amount, for example. So therefore, closed is no not yes. Either of those will do for the filter. So I'm going to go with closed, no, and there's my filter. So these are all the invoices that have a remaining balance. I'm going to click on the little icon here to let me save that as a filtered view. Give it a name that will make sense later on and that's now saved in amongst my views. That will display in this quick access list as my save views. Later on if I want to I can rename it, I can remove it completely or I can actually save a new copy of it, spin off and do have a, a, a further variation. I can also make a use of a couple of other features if I click this little symbol here I can bookmark this page that will give me quick access to the whole list page from my role center. Just close that confirmation. And on the right hand side, the fact box pane has, uh, in effect, two tabs to it. So we're on the details tab at the moment. As I go down these records, it gives me a heads up with attachments is one. So actually, if I switch to the attachments tab, and we see there's a note that's been set there. And I now know that this invoice itself is actually on hold. Um, due to it being in query. That was actually set on the document and I can easily add further notes if I need to. So if I now return to my role center, so now we see I've gained post sales invoices as a bookmark on my role center in the navigation menu. If I click that come straight into the page. It defaults to the All view, but I can click Get to my Save view called Open Invoices. And there we go. And this is a flexible filter, so any invoice that's open rather than closed will appear in this list. And there is also a final way to remove your, your Save views. If we go to Personalize, this now has an extra option. If we do clear personalization, I can remove just my filtered views. So if I do this, it gives me a standard warning. I say yep. I say done. And my views have been removed.